When the fire broke out just after midnight at this home in Bagley Township, the babysitter called the children's mother who was at work. The babysitter had called work and I heard screaming and they said that uh, the kids were still inside and and so we were all praying that it would turn out okay and thank God it did. The children in the house were seven-year-old Krista and two-year-old Kingston. I got the girl out there, still an infant child in the back of the house and she couldn't get to, to the boy. Uh, troopers and a deputy went around to the back of the house. They found the sliding door, they, they busted it out. Police said once they were inside, the smoke was so thick they had to break a window just to see. And Trooper Leonard actually crawled into the room saw a pack and play and he pulled it to the door and there they could see a, a non-responsive infant. When we first started CPR, we're, uh, quite honestly, we didn't think the child was going to make it. Um, I, I don't know how long we did CPR, two or three minutes and uh, we finally got a pulse on, on, on the individual, the little, the little guy there and, and he started breathing on his own and that was a remarkable feeling. Both children were taken to the hospital and by late afternoon Kingston was beginning to show signs of improvement. Kingston woke up and pulled his tubes out and they had to sedate him to, so he wouldn't keep doing that. So that's a good sign. He's feisty and we're hoping for the best. Reporting in Otsego County, Gabriella Pagan, 7 and 4 News.